City of St. Louis now closer to cracking down on short term rentals. Good evening. I'm Brent Solomon. Despite passing a new measure today, many city leaders say this is only the start of the solution. Five on your side's Holden Kerwicki is live downtown with the very latest on the plan. Holden. Well, Brent, there are about a thousand short term rentals in the city of St. Louis, and they're not going anywhere, at least not anytime soon. However, the city of St. Louis now has the option to police those properties, especially if they continue to be a problem or if their owner fails to get a permit. It's an issue that city leaders have been working to address for years. We have no regulations right now. Airbnbs and verbos are the wild, wild west. And we're going to act like a grown-up city. We need laws that reflect that. And right now it is a wild west. That's why the Board of Aldermen advanced two bills aimed at capping the number of short-term rentals a person can own at four, set a two-day minimum, and require the property owner to file for a permit with public hearings allowing neighbors to weigh in. If we're talking about noise, that's addressed by this bill. If we're talking about occupancy, that's addressed by this bill. If we're talking about how many cars you can park outside. However, some city leaders, including Alderwoman Sharon Tyus, who at one point asked to opt the 12th Ward out of the legislation, voiced their concern that it could create more problems than it solves. I didn't know that short-term rentals to fix the problems where you were having them would create a problem for me. That is not a solution. The short-term rental um, industry is really great for bringing residents to neighborhoods that don't have hotels. I think I, I, it really is an incredible asset to many of our neighborhoods, including mine. And let's put this right next door to your house and see how the hell you feel about it because what's going to happen to you every day when there's 20 guys throwing beer cans over your fence, urinating in the backyard, and having a wild party. During more than four hours of debate, board members admitted they expect legal challenges to the legislation to play out in the courtroom, similar to what Kansas City is currently experiencing. We can all agree that this legislation is not perfect, that something is better than nothing, and we need something in a big way. These proposed regulations on short-term rentals still have to pass one more vote by the Board of Aldermen next Friday before they will be sent to Mayor Tashara Jones for consideration. Reporting live in downtown St. Louis, Holden Kerwicki, five on your side.